Hey everyone, how you doing today? One of our most week, popular weekly episodes is when Emil and I get on the show and we just talk about a market. And uh, today you got a good one for us. Which one are we talking about? Good morning. So today we are talking about Cleveland, Ohio. So I saw somebody mention they wanted uh, stats on Youngstown, Ohio in our mm -hmm. last video. And I looked and I think that's a suburb outside of Cleveland. So yeah, folks, uh, again, keep leaving the cities or towns you want us to cover. But again, Emil can only cover the towns that Roofstock covers. So sometimes it might be too small or an area they yet to have a supplier in. So we try. We hear you. Uh, I'm going to ask Emil to go in. And when you see a city or town that you don't cover, do me a favor. Reply to the poster and say, hey, no one yet or something like that. Because uh, I don't frankly know which one you have and which one you don't. So that'd be cool. Yep, absolutely. I started doing that on the, on the last one ah, we did. Cool. So I'm giving people a heads up if we can cover those or not. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. Well, what do you got for Cleveland? I got to tell you, uh, if I were to pick the number one market I hear investors talk about, it's not even close. Cleveland is mentioned more than any other. I think because historically it's been cheap, uh, but I look forward to hearing what you ha have to say because I know nothing about it other than it's in Ohio. I mean, that's, that's the extent of my knowledge. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we'll get to it, but it's the yield. So cheap okay. home prices and, you know, much better looking rent. So, all right. Today, Cleveland, Ohio, MSA name Cleveland Illyria. I ho hope I'm pronouncing that right, is the full MSA name. The MSA population of Cleveland is just over 2 million, 2.05 million, oh. which is the number 34 in the country. Bigger than I expected. But again, I don't, uh, yeah, 2 million people. That's that's legit. That's a big ass city. Yeah. So then the city population, 381,000, which oh, kind of we got that county that same... city thing again, like St. Louis. Exactly. Exactly. So city population puts it at number 53 in the country. You know what? Something would be interesting. I don't know if you can do this. If you can't, no big deal for next time. Could you figure out the geographical size of the MSA? And I asked that because I did a comparison on one of my episodes between San Francisco and LA, for example. Okay. And I don't remember exactly, but like San Francisco's footprint's like 46 square miles and LA is like 312 or just something, you know, substantially bigger. That might be a nice variable. And I'd like to know too, just, just, you know, if we can, if it's too hard to figure out, no big deal. Yeah. I'll look into that. I'm hoping Wikipedia or some source yeah, exactly. will be able Good to give me that Wikipedia. answer. Come on, Wikipedia. So All again, right. the, the county or the MSA is 2 million. The city of Cleveland's 300. So that's 15%. Huh. Okay. All right. So uh, the MSA population growth uh, has actually been negative since 2010. So down 1.4%. Ooh, pay attention to that one. Okay. So declining MSA and a declining city. So city population growth is down 4% since 2010. Ouch. Those are the, those are the kind of numbers that, I mean, they scare me. Um, you know, anytime a city is shrinking, you wonder why. Uh, it also could be, you know, sometimes you got to buy at the bottom. I get it, right? Right before regentrification, right before companies come back. Uh, again, I know nothing about Cleveland folks. I'm just going, hey, negative 4% growth for the city, probably not good. Because again, housing stock stays the same, right? The housing's already been there. You just lose, what is that? What's 4% of 300? Oh, that's 12,000 people, right? That's 12,000 people. That might be what, if the average family is four people, that's 3,000 homes, I guess, just doing rough math. Okay, I get it. Go ahead. And so m moving on to median household income, I think last time we were, we were uh, going back and forth on is, is median household income a family of four? And I looked it up since it's coming from the census. So they, they consider household income just any household. It could be one person. It could be oh. a family. Oh, so it's at the point of census. Okay. All right. Yep. So Cleveland is 30,907 as of 2019. Oh, that's the lowest. I, last week. Yeah. What did we do last week? Last week was uh, Memphis, I think. Yeah, maybe? Memphis. And it was in the 40s. I think it was like 42 right. or something. So this one's 30,000. So we call it 31. Yeah, by far the lowest we've covered so far. That's interesting. Well, okay. I think I know where this is going with prices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is, you know, why some out-of-state investors have the wide eyes coming into it. So number of units in terms of housing stock, 964,000 total housing stock. 
which is 32% render occupied. Oh, that's actually, that's like, so only 32% is render occupied. Okay. That's 70, 30. That's about, that's actually better than Fresno, I think. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, you'll see again with home occupancy rate that there is, you know, decent amount of vacant homes as well. So okay. that's part of it. Uh, the 2020 single family permits estimated by John Burns, 2,711, which is up 3.6% year over year. So, all right. So some new construction going on. Okay. Yeah. All right. So according to Zillow, median single family home price as of November, 2020, any guesses? Well, I don't know with a $30,000 income, it's gotta be. 60k close 79k oh it's even a little higher all right so let's call it 80k on a 30k salary because a 30k salary that's 2500 bucks a month before taxes wow okay yeah and so uh okay. zillow was down so i don't have the growth the growth over usually we look at what is the single family home price growth been over the last 12 months, but mm -hmm. Zillow has been down for the last couple of days. So I haven't been able to oh. pull that. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, maybe on the next one, I'll have it and I can give a quick reference back. Sure. Uh, median single family rent, according to John Burns, $1,028. Oh my God. So, so your rent's a thousand bucks. This, this is, there's a lot of people living really close to the edge in Cleveland, right? Of average or whatever it was, median income is 2,500 bucks a month and your rent's a thousand. Now, I don't know what you pay in taxes on 30 grand. It's probably not a lot. So maybe a lot of that's gross and nets the same, maybe. Um, man, that's that's two and a half times. I mean, ugh, that's that's tight. Okay. Yeah, definitely. These were some surprising numbers when mm -hmm. I looked at them as well. And so year over year rent growth, 3% according to John Burns. Okay. Our single family gross yield, according to John Burns, is 10.4%. So double digits. Again, folks, that's Excel math right there for you. Um, I mentioned earlier that this is the number one market I hear about. It's both good and bad. And what I mean by good, it's talked about by a lot of new investors as, hey, I'm going to Cleveland because it's cheap. It's, it's cheaper than my car, I hear a lot. And then I also hear a bunch of Cleveland investors that um, – maybe don't enjoy the experience being an out-of-state investor. Um, I know a few people that invest that live locally, they're crushing it, uh, but it might not be a great market to, you know, you gotta, you gotta go see your properties. That's, that's one thing I get all the time. Do I need to go see it? Well, you need to go see the area. And if you don't want to, if, if you don't want to go visit the area, why put your money there is something I often say. Yes, absolutely. Great, great rule. Uh, so our home occupancy rate, which I alluded to earlier, 91 Point five percent according to John Burns. Okay. So have a decent amount of vacant homes as well. I think when we start, you know, we're looking at Indianapolis, Jacksonville, some of those markets that are doing a little bit better in terms of appreciation and stuff. Yeah. yeah. 95%. And right. you know, the Memphis, Memphis, I think was like 89 and yeah, it was Cleveland. in the high eighties. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so 91. All right. Um, all right, so getting into employment stats. So the healthcare sector is one of the major employers in Cleveland, including the Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals of Cleveland, Metro Health, and Medical Mutual of Ohio. Hmm. Other major employers include Sherwin-Williams, Parker Hannafin, which is a Fortune 250 company, hmm. and American Greetings, the card company. All right, and that's, Cle that's Cleveland. Okay, got it. Yep. And despite the shift to professional service and high-tech business, construction and manufacturing in Cleveland still account for a significant amount of employment growth. Nearly 3,000 new manufacturing jobs were created over the last couple of years, while the construction industry added more than 1,700 new jobs during the same period. Yeah, this is what I was kind of referring to earlier about, you gotta watch these cities that are negative growth, like I think it was negative 4% or whatever earlier. There will be a time where it kind of boomerangs back, right? There was a time where Detroit was falling off a cliff and you can buy a home for four grand or eight grand yeah. or whatever it was at the bottom. And then it kind of, it collapses to a point and then it grows back out. I don't know where Cleveland is. Again, do your own homework, do all of that, do the work as I say, but it's at least a question to ask. Cause again, I think manufacturing is going to be important going forward. Um, and you know, if, if, you know, it's, 
cheaper to get to the east and west coast if you're in the middle of the country, right? Or relatively in the middle of the country. So I, I you know, I think Cleveland's got some stuff going for it, but man, that, that negative 4% is kind of scary. Yeah. It's a good observation in that, like, you know, it's not like Cleveland's going to continue to that pace where it just, it's yeah. not going to go to zero, right? It's not gonna, it's I don't, I don't think it's going to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Very so there, unlikely. It, it, there, you're right. There's a point where like, when does that turn around and do people like start investing in Cleveland again and mm-hmm. flocking there as well? Yep. All right. So rental and real estate market stats. So over the past five years, home values in Cleveland have increased by nearly 76% according to Zillow. What time frame? Five years? Five years. So what, okay, this is crazy. So five years has gone up three quarters, three, 75%, just for easier math. It was 89,000, you said? 83? 79. Oh, 79. So call it 80. So, okay. So it went from, I don't know, what did that go from like 58 to, okay. So it went up about 20 grand roughly in five years. Again, you got to watch, you got to watch these low bases. Because again, this is just the things to look for, folks. Um, it went up 20 grand roughly in five years. That's four grand a year. It might look good on a percentage basis, but it's four grand a year. California does that. Like my market of Fresno has gone up, shit, 37 grand in one year. You know, again, I don't bet on appreciation. I don't count it. But again, don't come to me and say, hey, Cleveland's up 76% in five years. You know, you get, you get blown away when you use stats incorrectly. Very true. Thank you. For, thank you for calling that one out. I probably should have started with the bait again. Uh, Zillow's I had this data from our, from our site, yeah. but I didn't have the beginning number and the end, but yep. you're right. If it's 79,000, that means what could it have started at 50 something. So like yeah. your, your equity growth is, you know, you're, you're it not sounds good, but it ain't equity. much. It's, it's a, right. it's a rounding error. Right. right. I mean, again, 4,000 bucks a year, that's a freaking AC or a heater or something, you know, that, <laughs> that goes away quick. Yep. Yep. Very good to point out. Uh, over the past five years, SFR rents in Cleveland have, have increased by nearly 11%. How many years? Five so. years? Five years. So 11%. Up. Yep. So again, let's do the math, right? I think you said it was 1100. Even if it was a thousand, I think it was 1080 something. Let's call it a thousand. 1028. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes up, it went up a hundred bucks, but it went up a hundred bucks in five years or 20 bucks a year. Eh. Eh. 20 yep. bucks a year. Eh. Slow. Very slow. slow. Yep. Okay. So the, what's interesting now is when I switched over to realtor.com, the median list price for a single family home in Cleveland Mm -hmm. as of December, 2020 is 97,500. So Zillow, that number we were looking at earlier is like home values across the board. Well, yeah, it was also probably purchase, not list list. You get a little skewed because of all the million dollar homes that aren't moving. I mean, it's still close enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. So sub hundred K you can get a home in Cleveland, probably get two homes. You get several homes under 100K in Cleveland. Yep. But again, the rent's a thousand. Yeah. Okay. I got you. And then the, the on the other end of median sold price for single family home in Cleveland, according to Realtor, one hundred and ten thousand. Oh, so that's that's interesting. So this is, I mean, it's happening in my market, your market, like every like everyone's bidding over list. It's interesting mm-hmm. to see that it seems to be happening in Cleveland as well. Okay. Yeah. And again, that's kind of a skewed number. You sell $1 million home. Yeah. yeah I got you. On what's selling. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So our quality of life rounding it out. So Forbes rated Cleveland metropolitan area as one of the best places in the U S for business and careers back in 2019, oh, probably cool. due to the fact that, you know, the cost of living is so low. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cost of living is 11% below the national average. And like I was mentioning earlier, Cleveland is home to some of the best medical facilities in the country. We talk about Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals are both renowned for their emphasis on quality and world-class innovative healthcare services. So known for their hospital system. Yeah, again, I think I think as an investor looking at Cleveland, I would get a, it, it, it looks good on paper. But I still think you got to get out there. You got to look at it because I bet you there's areas of Cleveland you probably don't want to invest in because, again, the Excel math would blow up with actuals. But it's probably some, there's probably some good, I'm sure there are some great areas to invest in as well. Um, it's just one of those markets you, you can't look at with a Google map view, right? You got to right. get on the ground. You got to go walk the streets. You got you to gotta go see what's going on. And again, I go back to the kind of two numbers that red flags to me, or at least yellow, right? The 4% decrease in the population 
the thirty thirty one thousand dollar income median that kind of i mean that just puts a cap on rents right you're already kind of there when you tie that into a thousand bucks yeah i mean that's yeah, it's interesting so what else you got that's it that's all i have for cleveland today very, very cool. Well, again, folks, we do this once a week with Roofstock and Emil. Let us know what markets you want. He's going to respond if he can get it done or not. Uh, we usually get, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 comments a week. So again, we'll do one every Friday. We'll do the best we can. And I believe I will find the link and put it below. If you're looking at markets, you're learning your market, you need to register on Roofstock just to get a feel for what's going on. There is a link below. And oh, by the way, if you happen to use it, and you buy something, you get a thousand bucks back from Roofstock. They are one of my partners who wanted to give the one rental at a time family some goodies. Uh, any closing thoughts? Uh, no, I'm excited to check you out next week and for our next market. You got it, buddy. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks. You too, Michael.